Studies show that an additional five years in the labor force would raise total retirement income for an individual with median lifetime earnings by roughly 60%. For an individual in the lowest earnings quintile, total retirement income would almost double. A number of policies could encourage delayed retirement. At today's conference, we will be considering the role of the Social Security Program in encouraging or discouraging additional work for individuals eligible to claim benefits. As uh, Apana mentioned, this is uh, a big issue in the U.S. and in other countries. Uh, what can we do to keep more older workers in the labor force? It may not seem like such a big issue at this precise moment when we have 10 percent unemployment. We're worried about health care reform and, and so forth. But, but from the longer run point of view, it is a big issue as people live longer and longer and, um, and our economies will be in trouble if they continue retiring earlier and earlier. Um, I was hiking in some national parks um, in September, and I kept running into young-looking people. Um, to me, they were young-looking. They It turned out to be uh, around 50. And um, a number of them were school teachers who had retired, and they were spending their retirement hiking through the national parks, which is a wonderful thing to do. I loved it, but I thought to myself, uh, what is this going to do to the state and local budgets that are financing this retirement? So what are the policy implications? Well, um, not surprisingly, uh, incentives and constraints uh, in the new system um, have had a very positive effect on the labor force participation of older workers. The D.C. system makes the pension growth actuarially fair. Pensioners are exempt from the pension payroll tax and the preconditions for early pensioning are tightened. Um, which rule change is most important? Well, if you look at the, the behavior of pensioners versus non-pensioners and over 65 versus under 65, it appears that um, the exemption of pensioners and non-pensioners over 65 from the pension payroll tax plays a major effect. Uh, the um, the tightening of early uh, pension preconditions has a major effect. Um, and uh, the, the shift to the DC system also has a positive effect, but uh, not as strong. Uh, so this is important, as I said at the beginning, because those first two uh, policy changes could readily be implemented <coughs> in a DB plan as well. If you look at the average claiming age for Social Security over time versus the uh, life expectancy as of 65, you can see back uh, with the early cohorts of retirees, 1940s, 1950s, the typical person claimed Social Security at a pretty late age, 66, 67, 68. Over time, though, that's shifted to something much earlier. Uh, today, I think the, the average is around 63 or 64. The, the sort of the modal uh, age of claiming, I believe, is 62. That's what the typical uh, person would claim. At the same time, life expectancies have increased. So you have, you have a couple different things going on here. One is that as people get richer, they like to, or people have made their choice that we're going to use some of this extra money to have a longer retirement. Uh, the, the, a big thing, obviously, was the, the availability of Social Security benefits to 62 rather than 65, allowing that just people will shift right into it. At the same time, though, life expectancies are increasing, and that would generally signal longer working lives. And you are seeing a little bit more of an uptick over the past 10 years or so. But this just gives you an idea of where we are today. Even if things are improving a little bit, people are living longer in retirement, but they're retiring earlier. So the, the money available for retirement income has to be stretched a lot further than it otherwise would. Most people, when they think about incentives to delay retirement under Social Security, they think about uh, the sort of the, the actuarial fairness of the claiming decision. If I claim benefits today versus tomorrow versus the next day, how does that affect the total benefits I get over my lifetime? In general, Social Security is, is held to be fair in that sense. If I claim benefits at 62 or at 63 rather than 62, the present value of my lifetime benefits is going to be around the same. And that holds whether you claim at 62, 63, pretty much any time up to, uh, up to 70 that your lifetime benefits are not affected by your claiming decision. 
What we're focusing on here is uh, how are your lifetime benefits or your net benefits affected by your work decision? If I decide to work an extra year and pay taxes into the system, what do I get back in return for those taxes? And that's an important thing to think about because the Social Security payroll tax is the biggest tax that most people pay. So when they start thinking about should I delay retirement, one thing they may think about is what am I going to get for my money? What am I going to get back in benefits for the extra taxes I pay into the program? The Chilean reform was accompanied by other reforms. We shouldn't forget that it wasn't just the Social Security reform. They faced a real crisis in the early 80s. So there was fiscal reform, there was financial sector reform. All of these reforms contributed. But in this case, I think the important lesson here is that, you know, we know that Chile experienced strong asset returns after, for 20 years after they re recovered from the, pre, from the early 80s recession. And it may have been, you know, one of the contributory factors to high good asset market performance may have been the high uh, stimulus to labor force participation. Because, you know, just think about the simple neoclassical model, you get a high return on the scarcer factor. So labor supply increased, and so capital returns went up. So that contributed to the success of the personal accounts uh, system that Chile introduced. And the key to a successful personal account uh, reform in the US might be to accom accompany that reform with these type of incentive changes for better labor force participation and uh, postponement of pensioning. 